ask, you know, these non-allied uh, stance of Sri Lanka when it comes to our foreign policy, is that something that will work for us in the future as well? Or is there something that we need to do? Because apparently it looks like America wants us to uh, publicly state that we are with America. China is also wanting us to publicly state we are with China. Now, we are trying to talk both sides uh, that might not sit well with them. So in an instant like that, are we still going to do with the non-allied uh, uh, way of uh, foreign policy or should we tweak it to a certain extent that we can actually benefit rather than be, be, be you yeah. know. No, as I said, this is a problem not only for us, for the whole non-Western, non Chinese communist that yeah. world, we are all in this sticky wicket having this problem. So the first step is we have to act together. Mm. The second is I, I, I do not think that we can deviate from our non-aligned equidistant policy at this stage. Because don't forget that this Ukrainian war is denuding mm. the strength of the traditional powers, both the Russian yes, and the Western yes, powers. Yes. While they are fighting, India and China are sitting Slowly, pretty. Yeah, exactly. They are sitting pretty. <laughs> they, are, they have the time to invest, they have the time to look after their economy. They, there's no drain of their uh, resources. Funds, yeah, exactly. So, uh, in that sense, this is almost a self-destructive war. You and I, do you think China and India knows that? And, and oh, they, <laughs> they know it very well. Now take for example oil. Now one of the first steps that the Western powers took was to boycott Russian oil. Yeah. Because that was the main, one of the biggest uh, areas of uh, income for, for Russia. Right. Then. When Saudi Arabia and other OPEC countries said, no, we can't do this, you know, this, all that. Then they put a ceiling. They said, you can't sell for more than $60 a barrel. Thinking that this will cripple the, the Russian economy. Actually, Russia gained more <laughs> because of this embargo. Yeah. The studies are clearly showing that Russia got wealthier. Then what happened? What are they going to do with this big stock of oil, which earlier completely went into Germany, France, even to the UK? So they've got that going to China, mm. to India, part of a little bit of it will come to Sri Lanka yeah. also. So like that, uh, every time they take a decision, it affects us also. So in my view, it, it will be fatal for us to try and take one side or the other. I mean, that will be a fatal mistake. So this is a question which also affects the Sri Lankan political spectrum. You may have one set of parties who want to go on one side, another set of parties who want to go on the other side. But I think as a committed citizen of this country, I have and we all have to insist that we keep a moderate and a, a very, uh, shall I say, sensitive yeah. uh, advance, depending on national interest. We have to think of national, we can't be thinking of American interest yeah. or Russian interest. And don't forget that every economic study is saying that in the next decade, China and China India is, is going to challenge these fellows, you know. Exactly. So, so we can't sacrifice our traditional friendships. And we do have a strong traditional we friendship. Are, we have there. a strong friendship. With, we are on to a good thing. Yeah. We are on a good trajectory. So why should we uh, foul all that up by uh, trying either trying to be too smart yeah. or trying to uh, sort of play one against the other. Exactly. So, the first step would be for us to work together. Sri Lanka alone, we can't solve the Ukrainian problem. <laughs> I mean, that's out of the question. But Ukraine, Ukraine is the breadbasket of the world. It has oil. It is a strategic uh, area as far as our tea and our exports are concerned. So every little move that is happening there is going to impact on our economy and from the IMF point of view, from investment point of view, from commodities point of view, external trade point of view, we have to take these developments in the Ukraine very, very seriously, I feel.